So welcome back guys. This video is probably going to be just a little bit shorter than most videos, but it's really targeted towards people who might be kind of on the edge about possibly getting a sawmill for your place. If you've kicked around the idea of getting a sawmill, you've probably figured out that there's lots of different models to choose from. Well, this video might not help you with that. I just want to show you one more thing that sawmills are very, very helpful with around the place. These are some two by six boards here that came off of tornado damaged trees. And I saw these for a friend about a year or so ago they're two by six and they were true two by sixes when they were cut when they were green so not the nominal dimension stuff you would get in a store at one and a half by three and a half or one and a half by five and a half for a two by six they were true two by six inches and these are great boards and they work great for a lot of things but we ran into a situation where they will not work for the past three or four weeks i have been helping my friend build a pole barn on his property and this is to replace some of the buildings that were damaged by the same tornado that we got these two by sixes out of the problem is this is a metal truss building and these metal trusses are prefab for boards that are store-bought dimensions or nominal dimensions so what we need is inch and a half thick boards by six or by five and a half doesn't really matter on the width what we need is one and a half inches wide and what we have is two inches and of course you can put boards like this on a table saw and shave them down just exactly how you need them but that would take forever so i want to show you on this video how you can quickly and efficiently take boards that are not the right size and resaw them down to something that you can use Now, I'm only going to put four on the mill at once. It could definitely do a lot more dealing with the widths on, widths on these boards. But once I lay them down to deal with the thickness, it's going to be too wide if I put too many more on this. Now, the reason that we want to edge these boards as well as work on the thickness is because during the drying process, boards just naturally twist and turn and bow and do all sorts of fairly unpredictable things. And what I want to do is try my best to get the bows out of this because if we don't get the bows out, he's not going to have a a flat roof on his barn. Now I'll just flip all of these over and do the same thing to the other side. And now we're going to take them and just lay them down. Thankfully, we only have to do one side on this instead of both. If you look straight down, you can see how well that took the bow out of them. There's barely any gaps between these boards. They're very, very straight now. But you can see right here how they've bowed in that direction. You see this right here? I'll try to clamp that and put a lot of pressure on it and see if that'll hold it down by friction because I want the thicknesses to be as uniform as possible. And that's holding those boards down pretty good. Let's make a cut here. Now this board on the outside edge has got some real issues. I'm going to take this board and flip it over and see if we can make the middle stay down. Of course, we're never going to make these ends stay down. That's not perfect, but it's a whole lot better than it was. Now we can make our cut and get a little bit more uniformity in these boards. And here's what we're left with. Wow, that's thin. 
So that didn't turn out quite as planned. The edges did really, really good. They're all very straight, but the thickness not so much because these boards again are warped. There's no way to make sure they lay really, really flat on these bunks right here. So here's what I'm gonna do. Change of plans. We're gonna take all of these boards edge them right here and then throw them on the planer to get them to the thickness that I need. And this will actually be pretty quick on the sawmill because I should be able to do about 10 of these at a time. It'll fit one more, but I'm gonna do nine. There's no use in stressing out the machine any more than I have to. Now I'm not filming sawing every board because I pretty well think that y'all get the picture, but I wanna show you something. These are two boards right here that have not been edged and here are two that have been edged and you can see it's a pretty dramatic difference. You can see the gap right there and that's what this mill is doing. Let's smash these together as most, most as we can. And that's what the mill does. It saws the edges and it takes this terrible, terrible gap out and it makes it look like this. And for a barn that translates to having a really flat roof if you have broken boards that you don't get the bow out of them in a roof like that you're gonna have a roof that does all kinds of crazy things and looks really ugly and this right here is the reason I'm not able to adjust the thickness with the sawmill because this board right here is twisted that means it's gonna be one level or one depth on the sawmill in one area and another depth in another area and basically what that translates to is a board that's gonna be thick in one spot and thin in another spot so that's why I'm gonna have to put these on the planer well that's got all of the two by six is cut to width they're five and three eighths five and three eighths of an inch wide which should be good we're working with 10 foot spans between the trusses so i think that'll be okay uh, unfortunately they're still two inches thick and that's too thick to go down into those what do you call those things clips truss clips that the i don't know i've got construction guys laughing at me right now i'm sure in the comment section but whatever those those joists go down into that's still way too thick to fit down into there and we were going to plane them and i was really dreading having to do that i just talked to the friend who we're working with to build this barn and he thinks we can take them and put them on edge on the table saw and basically just notch them out remove a little bit of material on one edge so that they'll fit down in the clip and leave the rest of it thick i'll get some video of that before we wrap up this video but i desperately hope that that works well guys, i didn't film any of that but that turned into an absolute disaster let me show you what i'm talking about to give you an idea here these boards uh, these purlins lathen i don't know what you call it actually have to fit into those little clips right there and if you look at this end board we managed to get that one to fit but look how ugly it is right there on the end here's a close-up shot of one right here it's super super ugly and this is incredibly labor intensive we got to cut a kerf out of here deep with the table saw actually this is too deep we could have got a, a, a cut by with a little bit shorter then we got to notch it out either with a skill saw or a chisel and it's ugly and a whole lot of work so we're we're going to head back to my house with this load of lumber and do something different we're going to run it through the planer get all of these at the exact same thickness and then we'll be able to just stick them up a whole lot easier it'll be time consuming now but it'll save us a ton of time when we go to put them up on the shed
So that does it for the planing, and what we're left with is almost five and a half, five and three eighths, because we didn't we didn't mess with that by about just a little bit over one and a half. So that should fit down in those trusses just fine. I ran off the boards today so they won't take me with them. Did you see all of these pine shavings? I did. That is a huge mountain of pine shavings, isn't it? This is right around 65 boards or so right here, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be enough to do that entire shelter. And this is gonna look a whole lot better than what we had with those notches on the end. This is basically finished lumber, two straight edges and planed on each side there. So this is gonna look super nice. I was really dreading building this really nice looking shed, flat roof and everything, and having those hacked out ends. So I'm really excited to have some nice finished lumber to go up there now. Well, this kind of started out as a video to show you how you can plane or not plane but edge multiple boards on a sawmill and make them a little bit thinner as well and there was just disaster after disaster in this video but it's really kind of serving as a teaser for the shed build so I should have a video out here in a few weeks about building that entire shed and I'm really looking forward to putting that whole thing together after that I should be back in the remodel on our house here and of course all the other normal stuff that is going on uh, around the place pigs chickens and so forth but I really appreciate y'all watching this video. Be on the lookout for a really cool shed build pretty soon. And I will see y'all on the next one.